20, 27 p.m. And it's the 21st of 3rd, 2017. And we're going to head on and look at other cams around the world and see what we can zoom in on as well and see if we can catch any more heavenly bodies out there. Again, thank you for subscribing to the channel. And all you subscribers that are following me, respect to you all. Because I know that you're following me and you're keeping your eyes to the skies as well. Because we're seeing some amazing and different objects that are up there. We're still hunting for Nibiru. As here on this image as well, the Vatican are staring at the skies every single day and night. Tracking the celestial object that's incoming. The government won't say anything. And they keep chemtrailing as well to hide those uh, huge gas giants that are out there that are coming in. So that's carry on and head on to the cams. Here on this mole wind cam, you can see the darkness and basically on that horizon there, you can see their lower clouds. Now today, here in the UK, I noticed a lowered cloud, okay, and a chemtrail that was under the cloud. This chem plane was small and it, was, it went under the cloud and done like a curl effect and then headed off into the horizon. And it was like a blue chemtrail like fumes or some chemicals and things like you know it's very spectacular my wife and i looked at that and we noticed that and slowed down in the car and we just never seen a chemtrail like that before underneath the cloud don't know if anybody else has seen these before but this was very very strange anyway so i'm going to keep my eye out for that again and see if i can get that on video but they are basically using all sorts of um different types of uh ways of chemtrailing now they're chemtrailing underneath those clouds this is a mexico cam okay and they call this uh, the mansonilia cam in mexico can you see this on the uh, the cam here is another reflection from a red heavenly body the binary twin okay now this reflection is not from our sun we're seeing this every single day on sunrises and sundowns you can see the chemtrails just on the screen here now basically as the sun rises with that simulator you will see that this disappears now there is no cloud is there to show or to try and make a mark to make this look like it's coming from clouds no clouds at all they're cloaking an object that's right here now they're white screening an object here they're Using mirrors or devices up there, the simulator, this proves, as I said before, on the land, you will always get this so uh, they can't hide the reflection. If I go now, you can see this, can't you? I apologize about the tapping. You can see this, can't you? Watch this now. Now, there's our natural sun coming up. Okay? This here is a big cloaking device, and also these are heavenly bodies that are coming up on the horizon. There is our sun reflection. If we go back now, you will see this. No clouds to cause this illumination on the sea. Can you see this now? This is from another body. But they're hiding it. They're covering up. NASA is covering this up. They know it's out there. We know it's out there. It's now getting close to the time now, isn't it? Here on this image, you can see this object, okay? Just here something that's here there's a few other objects on this uh, footage as well i'm going to show you i'm going to zoom in on this as well you can see this on the screen can't you it isn't a plane or isn't isn't any other object that i've ever noticed up there in the skies there's another object as well i'll show you this as well here it is the other object it's just um just up there isn't it very strange again and again another one now, as I said before at the beginning of the video, when we saw that strange chemtrail that was under that cloud, really, honestly, it was really just blew me away. We had to pull up and see that. The thing is, though, we were driving down an A road, so there was cars behind and everything, so uh, it was just spectacular to see that, you know, that uh, plane or whatever it was, it was a lot smaller than uh, one of these military planes that sprayed the skies and it did, did a sort of loop sort of shape just under the uh the lower clouds there's a lot of things going on up there that we don't understand right now we just need to let the public aware of this i'm going to go to another image now for you guys here's another one as you can see this can't you just here 
what are these things? Because these are not complaints or anything like that. Birds or anything, they're too high up in the air. We're seeing a lot of strange objects in the sky. Are these, uh, what are they? I mean, it's just basically to research and see what we can find. And anything that looks strange out there just is basically spectacular for us, isn't it? So I'm just going to head on to uh, other camps. Here's another one that's coming to uh, the Earth's atmosphere. You can see this, can't you? These are strange. Now, are they using these for chemtrailing or are these objects that are coming from space? What are they? I mean, they've just appeared. I've noticed it on the, this camp quite a few times now. And also, these objects are always high up above cities, bigger areas, bigger populated areas as well. Can you see this as well, this object as well, that's in the distance there? I've zoomed up as much as I can. Now, there is something that's up there, isn't there? There's no doubt in it now. There's another. There's other things that we don't understand, and they're, um, they're here now, aren't they? There's no getting away from it now. I'm just showing you the different ones that I'm picking up all the time. There's another one. Time stamp is at 9.32. AM, and you can see this, can't you, on the 21st of 3rd, 2017. That object that's above that chemtrail. Are these other objects that are causing chemtrails? Because I'm noticing uh, smaller objects that are causing uh, chemtrails, so it's, please, if you can, just keep your eyes to the skies, because um, they're using other technology as well. I've just never seen objects like this before in my life, have they, you know? And basically, when it's on the cam, they sort of uh, flash and disappear and everything. I'll show you this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let the cam roll at speed one, okay? And you can see these flashing, okay? Now, they do, they act strange. They don't move like planes. They're just flashing and out. Watch this. Now, they do flash quite fast, okay? So, uh, you need to keep a close eye on this. Camera's rolling now. And you'll see these uh, objects in them blue skies. Okay, here we go. Apologize about the white screen. There's one there, look, see that? You'll see other object, another one. There's another one. Can you see these? These are not part of cams, these are objects that are up there. They could come in and they just flash away. Are they using our uh, Earth's magnetic field? Are they other beings? I don't know, you know? But they're basically very strange. You can see this on the, uh, just keep an eye on it. You'll see they notice them flashing in and out. So annoying when you see the white screen coming up on the Mexico caps. We just need to see these objects, don't we? Just very strange times, aren't they, up there now? another one. The white screen all the time to stop us from seeing a lot of things. It's really important to get to know this now. Always widescreening now. Other cams around the world have been switched off. Some really good cams will get some really good footage, but they turn them off all the time. I'm going to go now to another cam. This is another piece of footage from a Mexico cam. Now, something is here rising okay that's been cloaked as the sun the plasma and the horizon there is something that's being cloaked here this isn't a lens flare or anything like that this is a an object as we uh, go through you can see this now can't you this object is basically being uh, cloaked all the time they're cloaking the cams, white screening them. They're cloaking the skies, they're cloaking everything. So we, the public, will just carry on and just think that everything's fine. It's a shame because they white screen everything as well. It's, you can see this, can't you? There's something there. I'm going to go to another cam now. I noticed something down by this mountain, okay, on this Mexico cam. The San Carlos cam. Can you see this object here? Apologize about the arrow pointing to it, but you can just see this object, can't you? Just here. Is this in the sky? It looks like it is. Just pinpointing everything. It's very unusual looking, isn't it? 
I'm going to go to another image, but the thing is, though, we're seeing a lot of things now, aren't we? As Earth is heading towards the crossing of the Nibiru system, it's going to start now. We are in spring here in the UK, in the Northern Hemisphere. The first day of spring. So basically now, as things are heating up, we're going to start seeing some huge objects up there in the skies. It's going to be a lot brighter at night time as well, to see the stars and what's moving across them as well. So anyway, we're going to carry on and I'm going to move on to another piece of footage for you. I just want to say to you guys, okay, as I said earlier on now, it's the first day of spring, okay? Now, look on this cam in Mexico. It's, again, very much too dark, isn't it? The skies, you can see the red reflections, the dark shadows and everything. Darkness on the land. That's going to be very interesting, isn't it? Because the thing is, come July, August, it's still going to be dark like this, then we know that 100% that something is definitely wrong. Because the skies, again, in March, April of last year, on these cams were much brighter. So it just is so evident that we are now going into a, an eclipse with these celestial bodies. We really are now. And it's time to prepare for this. It really is. And to notify your fans, friends and families about this as well. Because um, this event is heading so close our way now. So please don't think that everything's okay. Because that's what the government want you to think right to the very end. This is a live cam, okay? An apocalyptic cam in the marina in Mexico. Now, again, so interested to see this, isn't it? Because again, you can see that blue reflection, okay, where them chem clouds are. And also this red haze coming from two objects. Remember this two colors in the sky and a middle gap. It's happening everywhere in the dark shadows as well. Don't want you to look up at the skies. They're just chemtrail all the time to keep our eyes down. It's so important now that we all understand this because the subscribers are following the channel and I respect that fully, 100%, that we are now noticing that things are drastically changing. When we see those huge celestial bodies that are together out there, we all know we've been lied to all this time by the uh, powers to be. They just didn't want us to know. This is another Acapulco camp, the Condesa camp in Mexico. A lot of channels have watched these videos as well and watched these uh, cams daily. And basically, if you track back to the early days when we used to watch these, 2013, 2014, and onwards, the skies then were very much lighter than this. And you can see that blue haze, that reflection on the horizon. And also you can see that the, uh, the color of the sun, okay, reflecting this is our true sun because the simulator is above our atmosphere. The sun is a long way away, which we all know this. It can't hide the reflection, okay? Now, the dimness is from that simulator that's on the land. And basically, you can see that the sun is changing color here because it's got the binary twin and nibble that's um, eclipsing it. Still a long way out there, but it's very, very close. As they say, the astronomers, it's a stone throw away. So basically, we are just going to carry on until we see these objects. And when the power grid goes down, I'm going to remember every single one of you because you're all fantastic. And then messages you sent me as well. It's just definitely blue that's in front of our sun there. Can you see this? Basically, uh, the sun's still up there. Look at the timestamp. It's 15.24. And basically, the um, sun won't be going on the horizon just yet. Something else is on the horizon. Look at it. You can see it now. It's just starting to um, illuminate on the uh, sea there. Look, can you see this? Very strange. So it's just good to keep an eye on this as well. And I've kept an eye on this cam for many years now. Sent footage off to other channels and that, images. And basically now it's great to uh, to produce the footage on the video channel for, for you guys. I'm going to go to another image now. Do you remember on the other video that I did uh, last night, basically telling you that the, uh, the waves okay, on the shore act differently now? 
can you see the way they just make these uh, strange lines here 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 you'll see this okay and I believe this is part of the magnetic pull of the system you, it didn't do this before these uh, lines these different sort of uh, shapes that you see on this cam and I've noticed this on other uh, cams around the world as well as the uh, sea is hitting the shore on the beach they just change their sort of like they don't sort of uh, mix together they basically um, can you see this they sort of make these lines in the the sea as well, it's very important to notice this as well. Um, again, I looked at some of the UK cams this afternoon and basically a lot of the cams were turned off, sadly. But I'll be going to the um, UK cams again shortly to see what I can find as well in the skies because um, today was very dim. And again, that was just, it did blow me away. It was very outstanding to see that chemtrail under the cloud there, basically. Uh, you know, I mean, things like that are just not right, are they? You know, and then looking around and noticing people just don't notice it. Not at all. Strange things all the time, you know. Again, on this cam, it's very, very dark, isn't it? It's 12.38. I'll just rewind the cam to show you how dark and dim it is as well. And um, I believe now we're just rocking back and forwards all the time. The Earth's wobble is in a bad way, we were shaking and wobbling, but as again, as I said, us humans won't notice it because um, Mother Earth is a huge celestial body towards us. And um, it's just evident the way the sea is playing and also the uh, the moon is very low in the skies, taking different alternative routes in the skies as well, the moon is, the celestial body is just acting strange all the time, tilting them. The sun has been tilted and the the sun's core is burn, as I said before, twice as hot. It's changing. And also these chems are getting much worse. Now they're doing chemtrails that you can't see in the skies. It's just turning into a haze in front of the sun. So they're trying to pull the wool all the time. And also many more earthquakes. They don't get reported on news media, many of them now. And the governments around the world are acting very strange. We don't hear much, much of the uh, government situations anymore. So it's down to us to keep an eye on everything to see what's going on. Because there is huge changes now. We really need to study this. Here on this image as well, I want to just explain a few things here, okay? Now, that reflection that you see, that's um, that blue reflection, okay, here. This is definitely another body that's coming in. Okay, now, look at the difference. Look at where the simulator will be way up here. Here's the sun reflection. Okay, that's behind the simulator. Now, this other light source is completely different because we've got the drop point from where the sun is reflecting. And also, we've got the other body that's coming through. The blue reflection. Now, when this body comes through, you're going to see the simulator and then this big object. And we'll like then to see what the government say on news media. To what excuse they're going to give when we see this big, huge blue star in the sky. Because I can't wait to see and hear what they say. Because we knew all along, didn't we? That something is coming in that's very, very big. And still again, we're getting the uh, ne negative replies. People saying, nah, this isn't true. Nothing's going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. Don't listen to them. Well, let me tell you something. The skies don't lie. They really don't lie. And it's so important to understand that the reflections, the colorings are completely wrong now. I mean, look to the right of the screen where you've got the timestamp at the top there. Look how black it is. We've been eclipsed. And also the reflections are coming in very, very strong now. I mean, come on, NASA, look at this. Look what you're doing to our skies. I mean, it's Mexico. I mean, it's the start of the spring now. I mean, look how dark it is here on this. Uh, just shows you that this object is right in front of our sun now. This heavenly body, the binary twin nemesis. And the chems are just wasting their time. It's wasting the military, are wasting their time now because we all know what's going on now, don't we? 
I mean, it's showing you on this cam as well, like the water is the reflections, it's just not showing our natural earth colorings anymore. It's all changed, everything is completely changed now. Also on this live cam, I mean, over here you can see how dark it is. There's a body that's up there being cloaked, it's too dark. The sun should be covering all the sky. I mean, the simulator as well, it's just basically so obvious now, isn't it? We all know now, don't we? There's objects that's up there as well. The thing is, so these chems are just trying to hide them now. Just amazes me, doesn't it? That people have got to now notice and look at this now. It's so important to get the word out there now, isn't it? Again, on this uh, Mexico cam, another uh, Cosmo cam. You can see that boat, can't you, that's leaving on the right hand side here, can you? And look at the sun, okay? Now the sun is supposed to be beaming down on these boats. This boat's supposed to be lit up. It really is supposed to be lit up by the sun now, the reflection. Here as well on the jetty, where you can see people on the jetty as well. It's all supposed to be lit up, very bright and very clear like it was before. But this object that's in front of our sun is just basically causing it to be dim and dark all the time. Because, again, with these uh, solar CME flares that are coming towards our Earth, they just don't want you to see what's going on. Again, is also, it's just basically that we've got those bodies up there. And they just, again, they don't want people to see. I just want people to understand this and just get the truth out there. It's very important because um, you don't get to see boats like that being dark at that time of the day. It's supposed to be bright. Again, on this Tajamarca in Mexico, clouds are not supposed to do this in front of our sun. This simulator, I mean, the thing is, it just basically cuts everything up, doesn't it? I mean, the light source is just completely different. Again, on the right-hand side of the can, these clouds every day just parked in front of our sun. They don't move. And when that simulator rises, all the clouds disappear. I mean, it's all being controlled right now, isn't it? Everything is being controlled. Even us, with the banking system and the government, I mean, everything is being controlled, isn't it? These are the sort of chems I saw here in the UK as well. Spirals. These strange chemtrails. Okay, this one's being lit up. I mean, all this is chemtrails. Everything is just toxin and waste. Just absolutely can't believe they're getting away with it still. I really can't. I mean, the skies are much darker as well. And there's all sorts of things going on, isn't there? And they're just trying to cover it up, aren't they? Again, I know I keep saying this, and I just want to try and get the word out because I get so frustrated to know that the whole system above us, even with us and around us now, is completely changing, isn't it? Everything is uh, not the way it was. Just want our blue skies back, our normal clouds, our normal sun. We don't need this, do we? Because it's harming everything right now. On this cam, I'm going to go through this with you, okay, to prove that the uh, skies are darkening. And also that plasma on the right hand side is not our sun, it's another that blue object that's appearing on all the cams now, on the horizon, and above the horizon as well. And as our blue object rises, we're getting a red object below it. They're from different bodies, this is 100%, and also on this uh, Loreto cam in Mexico. I'm going to uh, start this cam, okay, and show you on the timestamp at the top right hand corner. That the sky remains dark, doesn't light up. Okay, I apologize about the white screen. It will go white screen as well because I don't want you to see anything. So uh, I'm going to start the cam now. Okay, you can see now that it's uh, still very dark with the timestamp, it's still going up. Just this darkness above on the skies. Can you see this? Still very, very dark. We are seeing this all the time. You can see that object. It's going down on the horizon now. It's disappearing. Now the sun is coming up from the other side. You can see the sun that's on the, reflecting off these buildings. 
but it's still just too dark. The sun's supposed to be brightening and everything up now. I apologize about these Mexico white screens. Again, you can see those cams. You'll see them spraying again on this uh, cam. Just outstanding what they're getting away with now, isn't it? And um, I do believe that the uh, the military are watching these cams as well. They do uh, do this. I'm going to go to some other cams as well tomorrow, as I said before. I'm going to try some um, UK cams again because they did go down today, and also some Italian cams and. Uh, Grease cams and see what we can find. You can see the cam trail now, can't you, going past? It's all to hide that system that's um, going to be seen very shortly. We're going to see this blue object. We really are. I'm going to go to another piece of footage, but look, you can still see it's very dark. It's 10, 34, 36, 38, and it's too dark. Here on this live cam as well, I'm noticing an object just here. It's dim, it's like a blurry sort of. Um, object doesn't move when the cam is being uh, going through. You'll see this. Can you see this when the cam's going through? You can see this uh, something there, isn't it? Hold on a second, let's just try and get this uh, to move slower without having to tap the screen. You can see this, can't you? It just basically shows itself and then it just basically disappears. Can you see this now? If I could get away with stopping them white screens, I would, and I apologise about this. But there is something there, isn't there? See that? You need to, uh, if you can change the um, the mode on your screen, you can see a dark object that's just there. This is another live Mexico cam you can see on the screen. This is called the Catoris. Pananormica can. Sometimes I try to get the words right, but I'll, uh, I'll get there eventually. As we just be persistent on the cams as many times as possible to spot the skies that have changed. And here we go, look, we can see these strange looking clouds. I mean, look at this. This cloud looks like a bloody balancing on each other. I mean, these chems, they're just so thick and they stay low on the horizon, don't they? I mean, and this sun. Simulator, I mean, the angle of it as well. I mean, they really think that for one minute that um, we all believe that these are natural uh, clouds and how dark it is in the sky. I mean, there's got to be thousands of, I mean, millions of people that are noticing this now just don't want to say anything. But I'm telling you now, to all others and all people around the world, respected ladies and gentlemen that are out there. They're noticing that our skies are completely, utterly changed. We do have these huge objects are so close to us now. They're just now knocking on our back door. And you can it's just so evident. I mean, these clouds are just not our natural clouds. They're just stuck up there by using uh, chemicals just to cover up everything and uh, stop these um, flares that are coming down. I'm going to go to another image now. There's another live cam as well. I mean, you can see this kind of the timestamp. And I'm going to zoom in now and show you uh, what I can notice. But first of all, I mean, look at the shadow here. There's no clouds to cause a shadow like this. This is from a huge celestial body that's out there. And it's basically uh, stopping a lot of the light on the left hand side. Can you see this as well? Before the sun rises, we've got this red reflection, okay, from the binary twin. We do see halos in the sky very similar as well, don't we? I mean, we're seeing it now on the horizon, aren't we? Proving that this is out there in space. I mean, all the trash that's coming in as well. I mean, we're going to zoom in onto this now, okay? Who it is zoomed in? Okay, we're getting this... Um, line in the sky here as well from another body. I mean, I'm going to now show you some footage of the, when this uh, simulator, okay, in front of the sun, moves up in the sky. There's an object that's basically traveling with it. We see this before. It's very faint, but you will see this, okay? Okay, we're going to be looking at this object here. 
just here. You've got the reflection here from the simulator that's um, in front and in our outer atmosphere as the sun's behind it and the darkness. But we're looking at this object and I'm going to, it's on the slow now, so we're going to see this move. Can you see this? Here it is here. This is not lens flare or anything like that. This is another heavenly body that's up there. Here it is. It's very important to track these objects as the sun is traveling. Can you see this now? This is on the uh, Tepo, Tepoz Tala Can in Mexico. Can you see this now? It's very important to notice it. It's rising in the skies and then it disappears when the uh, simulator's raised, risen above into the skies. Still traveling up, can you see this? And then that simulator kicks in and brightens the skies, but not as much as the sun, our natural sun did. Very strange, isn't it? I'm going to go now, so uh, respect to all of you, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another longer video. So respect to you all from uh, Matt Rogers.